Meanwhile, China rolled out the red carpet for Russian President Vladimir Putin with a grand welcome ceremony as a Russian leader arrived in Beijing. Putin was greeted by his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping outside central Beijing's Great Hall of the People as the two leaders met kicking off Putin's two-day state visit. Xi Jinping hailed ties with Russia as conducive to peace and pledged to strengthen cooperation further. He said China is ready to work with Russia to uphold fairness and justice in the world. Putin in turn told Xi Jinping the relations between Russia and China are not just opportunistic and not directed against anyone. Putin landed in China just days after appointing his new government. This is the Russian leader's first foreign trip since his re-election in March and the second visit to China in just over six months indicating that China's strategic significance for Russia amid Western sanctions, it is facing over its military offensive in Ukraine. Now, with his visit, Putin is sending a message to the world about his priorities and his personal bonding with Xi Jinping, a relationship that the leaders described in 2022 as one of no limits. The two leaders will hold informal talks over tea this evening, during which Putin is expected to seek greater support from Beijing for his war effort in Ukraine. They are also likely to discuss Asia, energy and trade. Putin's newly appointed Defense Minister Andrei Belusov, as well as Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, Security Council Secretary Sergei Shoigu and Foreign Policy Advisor Yuri Yushakov will attend also, along with Russia's most powerful CEOs. Now, the two leaders are set to sign a joint declaration following the talks. China has strengthened its trade and military ties with Russia in recent years as the United States and its allies imposed sanctions against both countries. According to the Chinese figures, China-Russia trade has boomed since the Ukraine invasion and hit $240 billion in 2023. The 71-year-old Putin and the 70-year-old Xi Jinping will take part in a gala evening celebrating 75 years since the Soviet Union recognized the People's Republic of China, which was declared by Mao Zedong, Mao Zedong I beg your pardon, in 1945, 1949. Now, Putin will also visit Harbin in northeastern China, a city with strong ties to Russia. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.